Well, hello, 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 and welcome to another fantastic episode of My Orgasmic Life. I'm your hostess with the mostess, Gaia Morissette, a holistic sexual wellness specialist, BDSM wellness specialist, a high priestess of divine sexual magic and elemental magics, and a pro dominatrix. And also, slutty Christmas host. <laughs> Today's show, we're going to have so much fun. So first of all, we're going to do what is Slutty Christmas and how did Slutty Christmas come about? All right. So the history of Slutty Christmas <laughs> with your horny slutty elf, me. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. All right. So first of all, if you're, if you're not familiar spending time with me and listening to me, when I say the word slut or slutty, or I reclaim that word, that is basically for me um, a really powerful word that honors my sexuality, uh, honors um, who I am. And, you know, oh, yes, somebody on the live is asking me if I'm a sexual coach. Yeah, I'm a holistic sexual wellness specialist. So, yes, I do coaching, speaking, training, facilitating, all things that are related to sex, human sexuality. All right. So coming back to the word slut and slutty so that we can all have fun with this. All right. When I was a teenager and started getting into my sexual so just being a sexual being and being empowered in my sexuality, um, the word slut was used as a way to keep me in my place, to put me down, to um, hurt me, to control me. And so as I've gained my sexual liberation and my sexual freedom and my sexual empowerment um, and the work that I do in the world, um, I decided to embrace the word slut um, and become this incredibly powerful ethical slut. And so, hey, Chris. And so what ends up happening is that the word slut no longer has any negative connotation for me. It's a fun, playful way of describing how I am sexually liberated and free. All right. So we're getting into our uh, what is slutty Christmas. So now we're on the same page. Slut is not a degrading term for me. When I use it, it's like, woohoo. <laughs> Go team slut. Woohoo. All right. So years ago with my, you know, I kind of changed, you know, from, you know, having the traditional Christmas, family Christmas. There's always so, like so much drama and stress and anxiety that was all attached to like regular Christmas. And um, seeing that, you know, I'm not Christian, um, and I'm a pagan, that for me, you know, I practice Yule. And so like Christmas in itself was so icky and stressful. So what I decided to do is with, you know, my ex-husband and I, we started to kind of start these like rituals around making Christmas sexy and having pleasure and not being stressed out and, you know, having these like, you know, Christmas, you know, during Christmas, on Christmas day, you know, spending all day in bed and, you know, our, our gifts to each other were like sex and sexual exploration related. And so that's kind of how it started to develop. Slutty Christmas started to be born from this place of just like, you know, let's, let's do something different. So last year I was like, all right, I'm totally, I'm like going to, I'm going to create a whole lead up to slutty Christmas. There's going to be a slutty Christmas countdown starting after Halloween. Um, there's going to be like, you know, all these things and, you know, there's going to be this whole big production, right? Instead of it just being, you know, something that kind of just happened. So I got, you know, I started making all of my decorations for my tree, you know, penises, and I made some breasts, you know, with a girlfriend of mine, and we're all ready to like, you know, do the tree. 
And then unfortunately, my grandmother died last year. And so I had to go to California um, and, you know, deal with that. And, um, you know, there was no time for Slutty Christmas. So this is the official first year of full on Slutty Christmas. Woohoo! Or as I like to call it, Slutty Xmas. <laughs> So we're launching it. You're launching it with me right now. All right. All right. So here's what, so this is what's on the agenda. All right. So we have 12 days until actual the 25th. And um, each day I'm going to really drop into um, this really powerful place of each day choosing pleasure. And I know I choose that often, but this is like each day, that is what my choice is. I'm going to become like this pleasure, ethical pleasure seeking master ninja, right? And so I'm going to each day find something new, a new way of experiencing pleasure that I haven't experienced before, which should be quite intriguing and interesting seeing that, you know, I have a lot of experience with pleasure and orgasm. So this should be quite fascinating. So that's first. First commitment of setting up Slutty Christmas. You must be committed to going on a daily before leading up to Xmas, Slutty Xmas. You must do a daily pleasure practice. Okay, first thing. Second thing is that um, you know, you need a slutty Christmas tree. <laughs> you need a slutty Xmas tree. You can't do this without a slutty Xmas tree. This is, it's, it's not okay, right? So what you're going to do, so, you know, if you're going to participate with me, I am going to, I'm going on Saturday, go cut my tree down. I have all my ornaments, my breasts, my vaginas, my penises, I have, you know, slutty Barbies for, you know, I have Dom Barbie, sub Barbie that's going on the tree topper. Um, there should just be some sex toys on there. Definitely some chain. Um, and so we're going to like, you know, make our, you know, slutty Xmas tree. All right. The next thing on the agenda that's important is that in, in, instead of having like, well, mistletoe works, but, um, I haven't decided yet what I'm going to replace mistletoe with. So anybody have any suggestions for, you know, something that would be like in, in the theme of Slutty Xmas, um, where, you know, if you walk underneath it, um, you know, you have to make out or you have to have an orgasm or maybe you have to tweak each other's nipples. Oh, I like that actually. <laughs> Nipple tweaking. Tweak, 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 tweak. <laughs> for everybody who's just listening, I got my little fingers pretending that I'm pinching nipples. <laughs> Um, and then on, you know, you know, on the 25th, this is when, and of course, you know, I have a harem of lovers. So I have wonderful lovers that can actually help me, um, not only when my own adventure with myself, but for, you know, some sexual exploration. So I have some things that I have never done before that I'm planning on exploring, um, over the, you know the slutty Xmas period of time, which is from like Christmas is when we like full out from Christmas to New Year's. All right. And in that period of time, that's when I is really dropping into sexual exploration and all the pieces and the things that I haven't done yet, which are pretty hardcore. So I'm not going to share them. <laughs> I mean, I might share them if you're all really good and, you know, and you get on my naughty list, <laughs> I might share them as they happen um, throughout the, you know, slutty Christmas, <laughs> all right, slutty Xmas period of time. But the, the, the 12 days leading up to Xmas is also really important. So we have different phases. So we have the 12 days leading up. So our 12 days of slutty Christmas, my true love gave to me. 
a pair of nipple clamps. <laughs> la 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 la. <laughs> right, so leading up to that 12 days, it's super important. This is where we want to really drop into the place of pleasure and arousal and joy and excitement and move out of this place of go, 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 stress, 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 bye, 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 um, you know, um, you know, relationship drama, family drama, like, you know, this is that space where, like, if you're in the, here's a great example. So Kegels will become your friend over the first of the 12 days leading up to Chris, so Slutty Xmas. Kegels. Doing some Kegels. Squeezing your genitals while you're at the mall. Squeezing your genitals while you're waiting in line. Squeeze your genitals while you're walking through, you know, wherever you are. Allow yourself to have the experience of joy and pleasure instead of the stress piece. And we can choose that. We can go throughout our day being like, la, 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 pleasure, pleasure, pleasure. Oh yeah, I'm waiting in line. Everybody's chaos and crabby. I'm happy and content because I'm squeezing my genitals. And I'm just breathing. And I might even start whistling and singing songs and in my head make, you know, because it's me, um, you know, everybody's like, ah, and I'm all like singing Christmas songs and making them all naughty and inappropriate. In my head, well, I hum it as I go through the store. So that's that really important piece of those 12 days leading up. And then once you get into the, the meat, the juice, the sexual exploration stage of Slutty Xmas, You'll be ready to drop into that place. You'll be ready to explore. You'll be ready to let go because you've been in a pleasure place. You haven't been all stressed out. Um, and if you're like, well, I have family responsibilities and obligations and children and all that kind of stuff. And you're like, I can't practice, you know, slutty Xmas. No way I can practice that. Um, well, I'm going to lovingly challenge you on that a little bit. You may not be able to practice it like I do, which is like I block off that whole period of time um, because I'm allowed to because I can and I don't have children. However, that does not mean that you can't do some, you know, naughty texting while you're at a family gathering with your partner or partners, depending on what lifestyle you lead. Doesn't mean that you can't like sneak off into the bathroom and have a little like, you know, quickie of like some sexual, you know, a little bit of pleasure. Um, you know, I, th I think we can choose no matter where we are, what we're doing and what kind of, you know, um, you know, holiday season we are having, um, that we can choose to have more joy, like true joy and pleasure in that experience if we make an effort and there's part of it is kind of exciting and and because it's like it, it's kind of naughty you, know, you get to put on be put on the naughty list you know what happens on the naughty list spankings <laughs> naughty boys and girls get spanked <laughs> and that's just fun <laughs> right so i really want you to drop into that place and enjoy this adventure with me. I will, I'll be doing lives, not actually while I'm doing them, because, you know, I would get kicked off and banished. Um, and, uh, you know, but I will be doing lives and talking about it as I go through over the next couple weeks, um, keeping you informed and like, I might give you the juicy details of the naughty things that I'm going to get up to and the wow, or the naughty things that I did get up to. Um, but that means that, you know, that depends. That depends on how well behaved all of these are. <laughs> or should I say, that depends on how naughty all of these are. <laughs> all right. <sighs> so thank you for the love. Thank you for the likes. Um, you know, I can't wait to go on this adventure and take you on my, my first official Slutty Xmas. 
you know, silver boobs, silver boobs. <laughs> Um, all right, so here are some of the things uh, in case, you know, one, if you're just joining us, uh, you know, uh, start from the beginning because there's some really good stuff there. Uh, two, um, you know, please follow me, come follow me on all the social media platforms under Gaia Morissette or Empress Gaia for all your BDSM and kinky needs and education. You can find me for any support, coaching, help, um, you know, around your sexuality, around anything that sex relation, sex or relationship um, going on in your world. Uh, you can find me under succulentliving.com uh, for all your BDSM needs and education. You can find me under Empress Gaia at empressgaia.com. Don't forget, if you're not following me or listening to me or downloading me as a podcast right now, that you should <laughs> so that I can be the like, the dirty little secret that you take with you everywhere to the gym to the drive while you're driving around doing errands um so you can find me on all the platforming you know all the podcasting platforms spotify apple google play um you can also find it on my website all right so here we go Slutty Xmas is officially launched. Woo! So, first thing I need to go do to properly launch Slutty Xmas is to go and have an orgasm. So, that's what I'm going to go do right now. <laughs> Time to go whack off. <laughs> have a juicy, horny, pleasure filled Xmas day. Bye bye. Oh, and sorry, I forgot this part. <laughs> One more thing before I go. Um, this episode was brought to you by Tickle.life for all your sexual wellness, educational, and resources. Go visit Tickle.life. Hee <laughs> hee. That's my sponsor who's like awesome. So, you know, there's so much. So if you're like, well, what is Tickle.life? I'm telling you, go check it out. There's my stuff that's on there and articles and things like that, ways in which you can engage with me. But there's like 200, over 250 other sexual educators, um, con contributors to, it's a, to Tickle.life. So you're not just going to get my voice and my experience. All right. Now I mean it. Now you can go. That's it, that's all. Officially, that's it, that's all. Mwah. Have a horny day. Bye-bye.